And that, next, let's, let's look at P50, P90. Um, this guy's still running along here. I guess we'll let it do that. Um, so for P50, P90, I uh, switch over here to P50, P90 under simulate. And here what I need to do is pretty straightforward. The, the biggest job here is assembling the weather files for the P50, P90 analysis. Um, I've already done that. It turns out that for the, for the US, um, we've got historical single year data um, from the National Solar Radiation Database. So if you're, doing, if you're analyzing a solar uh, project and wanting to do some P50, P90 analysis, you can use this data. Click this link here. And all these zip files contain uh, multiple single year files. So you just download one of these um, and extract it from the zip file and put it in a single folder. And then in SAM, go to that folder. Um, this is the one that I've set up. And P50, P90, that, that folder contains all the, the uh, the weather files. So here's a list of weather files that came out of that zip file that I downloaded. And you'll notice that the weather file has underscore year. That's the file naming convention that SAM uh, uses to recognize what year of data what the, the file contains. Um, and and the, the file formats can be any of the file weather file formats that SAM can read. So the SAM CSV file format, TMY, TM3, TMY2, or EPW. Um, so I choose the folder. Go back to Sam, and there's the name of my folder. And then I click Run. And if the if the uh, weather files are in the correct format and named appropriately, then Sam will automatically figure out what they are and and do uh, run the simulations. It looks like I'm running this on the trough case, which is why it's taking longer than I expected. Um, but that's OK. We can wait. Um, actually, I'm going to stop it. <laughs> and I meant to do it over in this case, which is a PV watts case. PV watts runs much faster. And uh, so I'll just do the same thing there, run it. There we go. All right, now we have a, a simulation uh, message here. And, and it's kind of hard to read, but if you stick with it and, and read it, it says year 1990, exec fail. So something failed. Um, it failed to process radiation on surface code minus 105. Who knows what that means? But there's this stamp here, year 1990, month 12, day 31, hour 23. This is telling me that there is a problem in our in the final hour, month 12, so December 31st, the 23rd hour, had an error in the in the data file, um, and it all is also telling me that it of the 30 files, it was it managed to finish 29 simulations. So there's it looks like there's a problem with one hour of one of the 30 files, and each file contains. 8,760 hours worth of data. So there's one tiny problem that I'm going to go investigate. So here's my collection of data files sorted by year. 1990 is the one Sam said there was a problem with. I'm going to open it with my favorite text editor. And I'm going to go scroll down to hour 23 of December 31st. Um, keep going. And if that's this hour. And just by looking at it, I can see that the hour above has all zeros here. And this one has 999999. I don't see any other 999s up here. So without even really knowing what's going on here, I can see that there seems to be a problem here with the data. And since this is for a nighttime hour and it's a solar system, I'm just going to copy the previous hour data and paste it into that final row. So the last two rows are the same. I'll save that. And then go back to SAM and run the simulation again. 
ah, now it worked fine. And there's all my, my results. So I can see P50, P90, minimum, maximum, standard deviation, and then another version of the P50 and P90 metrics. Um, and we've got capacity factor, annual energy, TPA price, so a whole bunch of metrics here. Um, so if you want to learn more about the P50, P90 analysis, you can look in, in help. Um, there's some more detail here. And then you can also look at the Solar Resource 101 webinar recording, or the, the, the webinar page has a recording of that uh, webinar, um, and also some links to some P50, P90 um, uh, materials. 